Hi, Elementary C. Today is Tuesday, April 21, 2020. Happy Tuesday. And there's Miss Lucy with her signature bun. All right, our goal for today is I can comprehend grade level text. So today we'll begin reading chapter one in The Job Hunt, which is our new book for unit four. Remember these three reading strategies. One, look at the pictures. Use the pictures to help you understand the text, okay? Number two, remember the vocabulary words that we already talked about. College, remember, was the same thing as university. Whale was to cry. Slacks, the same as pants. A fare card looks like a credit card. And you use it to pay for public transportation. And cash is just money, okay? And number three, always uh, stay predicting. What do you think will happen next? Using those questions will help you to remain uh, understanding the text, okay? So we always look at the table of contents. And if we look at the table of contents, what is the name of our first chapter? Yes, it's morning. That's the name of chapter one. And what page is it in? Correct, it's right here on page four. Okay, make sure to always start by looking at the table of contents. Now, it starts with this picture. And this picture here is a Staten Island, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, the Bronx. Where do you think this could be? This is in New York. Okay, so our story takes place in New York. And all these little lines, what do you think they are? Okay, think about our, uh, about our vocabulary. So yes, this is the subway, the metro, okay? This is the subway, and that's probably where you would use the fare card to pay for the subway, okay? The subway is underground, and it's a very fast, like a train that takes you around the city, okay? So here's our story. We're gonna listen carefully and have those three things in mind, okay? Morning. It was morning. Kurt Gunter was in the kitchen with his big sister, Kim. Kurt placed some butter on his toast. Mm, good, delicious. Kim glanced at the paper and ate some toast. Okay, toast is like bread. Um, when you put it in the, when you put it in the toaster. Kurt was seven. His sister, Kim, was 19. She was home from college for the summer. We know what that word means, okay? What are you doing? Kurt asked. I'm looking in today's paper at the job openings ad, Kim said, okay? So she has a newspaper and she's looking for jobs. Why? I need a summer job, Kim explained. Why do you need a job? So I can make some cash, okay? And we know cash is money. You can get money when you have a job. So here we have a picture, and this is the picture that was in the front cover. So here we have, I think this is Kurt, and this is Kim, and she's looking for jobs. And they're eating toast, <laughs> okay? What will you do with your cash? Asked Kurt. I'll save most of it, said Kim, but I'll spend some on things I need, like clothing, and I would like to get a bike. You can get a bike if you get a job? Yes. Kurt sat thinking of how much fun it would be to ride bikes with Kim. Cool. So what sort of job will you get? Kurt asked. I can't tell. That's why I'm looking in the paper. Okay, so we don't know what job Kim is going to get. She's still looking in the paper. Kurt ate some toast. Mm -hmm. Then he asked, should I get a job too? Kim smiled. You are just seven years old, she said. You don't need to get a job yet. You should be having fun. But I would like one, Kurt wailed. Okay, so this is where he's like, but I would like one. Okay, he's crying. I'll tell you what, Kim said. You can help me look for a job. If you see a job that you like, then you can get that job when you are my age. Okay, so right now, Kurt is, um, he is only six. Sorry, he's seven. And if he sees a job that he likes, he can do the job when he's 19, when he's big, okay? That sounds good, Kurt said. When she finished reading the ads, Kim went and got dressed. She dressed in her best slacks. We know what slacks are, they're pants, her best pants. 
and a crisp white shirt. Why are you all dressed up? Asked Kurt. It helps to dress up when you go looking for a job. So this is true. When you go for a job, you need to dress very well. Kim explained. Should I dress up too? Um, just slip on a pair of nice shorts, she told him. Kurt ran off and got a pair of shorts. Would you say this pair of shorts is nice? He asked. Those will do, said Kim. Then Kim went to see her mom. So here we have Kurt and you say, what? hey, are these shorts good? And Kim says, yes, those will do. Okay, here we have Kim with her slacks and her white shirt, looking very good to go find a job. All set for the job hunt? Mrs. Gunter asked with a smile. So Mrs. Gunter, it's Kim Gunter um, and Kurt Gunter. So this Mrs. Gunter must be the mom because Mrs. M-R-S means that she is married, okay? So Mrs. Gunter is the mom. Uh, Kim nodded, she went like this. You look nice. Did you check to see if it will rain? It's not going to rain, but it's going to be hot. Okay, here's a fare card for the subway. Now we know what a fare card is. The mom is giving her so she can pay for the public transportation. And here's some cash to pay for lunch and snacks. Call me if there's any problem. Thanks, mom, Kim said. Kurt burst into the room. Mom, I'm going to get a job too, he shouted. Now Kurt is not going to get a job, but he's very excited. Mrs. Gunter said, your job is first to do what Kim says and then to be good while she looks for a job. Okay, so Kurt, all he has to do is listen to his big sister. Yes, mom, said Kurt. Okay, so here we have the picture. Here's Kurt. He's gonna go with his sister Kim to go find a job. And this is Mrs. Gunther, uh, Mrs. Gunter, the mom. Then Mrs. Gunter spoke to Kim. Keep your chin up, use your best manners, smile, and let them see how smart you are. That will help you get a job. As they went out, Kurt asked, where are we going? Kim said, just stay with me, okay? So here they are, they're leaving the house and they're leaving so Kim can find a job, okay? And that is the story. That is chapter one. Uh, thank you guys for being good listeners. And now our homework is just like we do in the classroom to have a reading discussion where we all talk together, okay? And our question is, in a class dojo video, tell me if your prediction was correct. Were you correct? Was it a brother and a sister? Did you say the sister was going to look for a job? Um, what did you say? How was it the same or different? Was it the same, your prediction and the story? Or was it different? Or maybe some things were similar, but some things were different. So we're going to have a discussion and just tell me, was the prediction the same or different? And was there anything that was the same or different from your prediction and the story? All right, Elementary C, thank you so much for everything. I can't wait to see your videos where we have this reading and literature discussion. Bye, Elementary C.